Hello and welcome to Music Lessons with Tony Valley. Today we're going to be continuing Eric Clapton's Layla. In today's lesson, we're going to be working on the second solo. I'm going to play through it real slow and then we're going to break it down. All right, let's start right off in the beginning. We're gonna put our first finger on the fifth fret, first string, and second finger on the second string, sixth fret. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna bend mainly the second finger, but you're gonna slightly bend the first finger, and you're gonna go twice. And then you're gonna land your third finger on the seventh fret, third string. So that first block, it goes. All right, and again, Keep those two fingers right on there and you can slightly bend both of them up, all right? So that first bar, then it's gonna go one, two, three, same thing, then the seventh fret on that third string, third finger, and then one last. So the first two bars right there. Then we're gonna go over to the seventh fret, third string with the third finger, then the first finger's on the fifth fret, third string, then third finger on the seventh fret, fourth string. Okay, so that first section. All right. And then right after that seven, we're gonna drop down and we're gonna hit the sixth fret, fourth string, then the fifth fret, fourth string, and then slide that first finger down to the third fret, fourth string. Then your third finger is going to land on the fifth fret, fourth string. Then that finger right there, the first finger is still on that fourth string, third fret. Strike that one. And now you're going to move over, over with your third finger to your fifth string, fifth fret. So let's take it out of that last bend. And then we're going to go three, five. And then you're going to hit the fifth string and you're going to kind of mute it. All right, so again, coming out of that last bend. All right, next section, it's gonna be a slide from the seventh and the ninth fret to the eighth to the 10th fret on the first and second string. First finger, seventh fret, first string. Third finger on the ninth fret, second string. And you're gonna slide up like that, okay? So get used to going from because what you're doing is you're gonna slide into it. You're not gonna go like that. You're gonna hit the first seven and nine and slide into it. Then you're gonna be striking the eight and 10 right there. So again, seven, nine, hit it and slide up. And that's a good practice right there. You can just go practice getting that line right there, okay? Now that riff right there is gonna repeat. So you're gonna go, so get that motion down. One, two, three. Okay, that riff is gonna be played six times. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now the last time on the seventh one, you're gonna slide up and you're gonna go, but then you're gonna strike the 10 on the second string with the third finger and you're already there and your first finger is already there on the eighth fret first string with that first finger right there, and then you're gonna put your third finger on the 10th fret, first string. So coming out of that, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh one. Okay? Next bar, you're gonna go over to the 12th fret, third string, and you're gonna do a bend. Now on acoustic, if you're on a third string, you can bend like this, or bend up, 
whatever is comfortable for you and whatever is easiest, okay? So right there, 12 with the third finger on the third string. First finger lands on the 10th fret third string. So you might as well just keep that first finger and place it. And again, when, when, I, when you're doing a bend, put your second finger and your first finger behind it on the same string, okay? And use that as strength to bend, okay? So that, coming out of that slide right there, you're gonna go 12, bend, 10, then you're gonna move your third finger over to the 12th fret, fourth string, okay? Next bar, put your first finger on the 10th fret, third string, you're gonna go 10, 12, move over to the second string with the 10, with the first finger, fourth finger lands on the 13th fret, second string, and then first finger goes up to the 10. Then you're going to put your third finger on the 12th on the first string. So let's play that again from that bend. Okay, and after that 12, you're going to be doing a hammer on and a pull off. 10, 12, and then pull off back to the 10 on the first string with the first and third finger. So, so again from the bend. And then your pinky's gonna go over to the second string, 13th fret, and your first finger is gonna land on that 10. I'm just gonna leave my finger there. When I do that riff, when I go, just leave that first finger on there, or at least right in the vicinity of it. So after that, hammer on, 13, first finger back to the 10 on the first string, pinky goes back to the 13th fret, second string, and then your first finger is now gonna go to the 10th fret, 2nd string, 3rd finger to the 12th fret, 3rd string, and then we're going to move over to the 2nd string again with the 1st finger and hit the 10 twice. So from the hammer on, and pull off, and again I'm playing this straight through so you're going to have to listen to the rhythm of it, he's going like that. Okay, so you can just listen to it, but just for now, get the motion down and do it slow. So after that 210 right there, you're now going to go 10, 11, 10, 12. And what he's doing, he's going, he's kind of playing it staccato right there. What that is, you're just doing it sharp, kind of stopping the note. So that's 10, 11, 10, 12, and that's 10th fret. 11th fret, back to the 10th fret on the 2nd string, 3rd finger on the 12th fret, 3rd string. Now we're going to move down to the 10th fret, 3rd string, and you're going to go 10, 9, 7, and when you reach the 7, you're going to hammer on to the 9. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go, this is all on the 3rd string, 10, 9, 7, 9, and then 7. So again, 10, nine, seven to the nine hammer on, then you're gonna strike the seventh with the first finger, then move down to your fifth fret, third string, same string. Now we're gonna reach and put the third finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, and then just roll that third finger right over to hit the seventh on the third string. So from the hammer on, pull off, Now the next riff, you're gonna move down to your fifth fret, put your first finger on the second string, fifth fret, and you're gonna strike that note, and then you're gonna put your second finger on the sixth fret, same string, second string. But now we're gonna do a hammer on pull off, five, six, five. And again, that's hammering on, pulling off, and you're doing that all in one motion. So you're gonna go, you're not gonna go, okay? Then you're gonna put your third finger on the third string, 7th fret, 1st finger lands on the 3rd string, 5th fret, then your 3rd finger goes over to the 7th fret, 4th string, and you're going to walk down, 2nd finger on the 6th fret, 4th string, 1st finger on the 5th fret, 4th string. Alright, so from that 5, 6, alright, 
Then after that, we're going to slide right down to the third fret, fourth string. Hit that third fret. Third finger lands on the five, fourth string. Then back down to the third fret, fourth string with the first finger. Then you're going to take your third finger and go over to the fifth string, fifth fret. And you're going to slide that out. All right. You don't have to go like that. You can just go kind of let it disappear around the second, third fret. So from that last five, six, Okay, well that's going to be half the, the second solo right there, and that's going to do it for today's lesson. Please feel free to email me at TonyValley at TonyValley.com, and we'll see you for the next one.